Hello, I'm Gary and I'm going to give you a quick overview of creating a VAT return in Xero. From the dashboard, if we click on Advisor and VAT return, this takes us to the VAT return section. Here, Xero will calculate your VAT return based on all the figures that have been inputted. You need to make sure that the correct period end is selected using the drop-down. If it's the wrong one, simply select a different one and click Update. The Include VAT Late Claims button should always be ticked, as this makes sure that if any items have been posted into the previous period, subsequent to the previous return being done, they will still be caught. Below, you will see the VAT return as Xero has calculated. To see more detail on these items, click on VAT Audit Report. Switch to the wide view, and you'll see all the items that it's made up of. You can also click on an invoice number to take you straight to that invoice to see more details. When you are happy with your return, click on File VAT Now. This will prepare the return as draft and you can click Publish to finish. From here, you can export the return as a PDF or to Excel so that you can file this online with HMRC. If you have any further questions, please leave them in the comments below and feel free to check out our other videos.